Hey my dudes, today we're getting BitBar for SmartThings, the easiest way to control your SmartThings devices from your Mac. Hello dudes, thank you so much again for watching. Like I had said previously, today we are getting BitBar with smart things on the Mac to be able to control all of your smart things devices right from the menu bar on your Mac. Without any more jibber jabber, let's go ahead and get right into it. First things first, you will want to go to the first link in the description and download this entire file for the ST BitBar. You can just go ahead and download that to your desktop. You'll be needing it later. You will also want to download the BitBar app by going to the second link by choosing BitBar V1 by choosing this latest version up here. Again, you can go ahead and save that to the desktop. We will be needing that later. Next, you will want to go to the third link and open up the SmartThings API. From here, you will want to go ahead and log in with your credentials. And after you successfully log in, you'll want to go to My Locations, click on the hub you want, then go ahead and go back up to My Smart Apps, and create the new start sm Smart App from code. You will want to go back to the very first link, choose Smart Things Smart App, stbitbar.groovy, and choose Raw. From here, go ahead and select all of the text in here. There's quite a bit. And copy that. Go back in and be sure to paste it. Click Create. Save. Publish for me. And then go to App Settings. Go down here to where it says OAuth. And then enable OAuth. You will have to do nothing more, just click update. From here, we want to go back into code and open up the device logs. From here, you want to go back to your device and open up your SmartThings app. Go to automation. Add Smart App and choose My Apps. From here, choose BitBar Output App, choose Enable API, then click Done. You will see your URL in secret. You will need these later, but these will show up in the logs so you can easily copy and paste them. Now, you will want to go ahead and select your devices that you want to include and in display names in things like that. After you are done choosing all of your devices, go ahead and click Done. And then Done just one more time. Now you will see on your screen in the logs area, you will see your smart app URL and your secret code. You will need these for the very next step. Next, open up your applications folder and create a new folder called BitBar. Extract the BitBar application. and copy it here. You will also want to extract the ST BitBar app master file and go in and go to BitBar plugin and copy both these ST folder and ST.5n.sh into here as well. Go ahead and open up the ST folder 
and open this stpythonlogic.config in your favorite text editor. You can use text edit, but I'm going to use my favorite, Adam. Here you will see where you need to paste your URL and your secret. Again, you can just go back into the logs here. Find your smart app URL, copy it, and paste it in. Same thing with your secret. After you are done pasting those two items, you will want to go ahead and save this file. Go back and open Bitball. If this is your first time opening it, it will ask you if you want to open. Go ahead and save. And as you can see, it will go ahead and load up here. And you will have access to all of your items you previously gave access to. If you want this to run at startup, you will want to go to System Preferences, choose on Users and Groups, go to your user, go into Login Items, and then go back into Applications, Bitbar, and Add Bitbar. Now when you log in, Bitbar will run and you will not have to worry about running it on your own. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or issues, please leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help. And remember, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and show me that you loved it. And if you disliked it, be sure to give it a big old thumbs down and I'll go cry in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos. I am doing I am going to be doing a lot of smart home update videos and a bunch of smart home tech and programs such as Bitbar. Well, that's it my dudes, you've reached the end. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day.